What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek into Luminar 4's new feature, Sky Replacement, that I think is a game changer. But if you close your eyes... So Luminar 4 is going to be the first photo editor that's going to have a fully automated sky replacement tool. And when I say fully automated, I'm not joking. This thing is powerful as well. It's not only going to mask out your background and incorporate a new sky, it's actually going to go over the entire photo and adjust the whole thing. So it looks like that sky belongs with that photo. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you guys some photos. I'm going to do some sky editing. I'm going to show you guys how powerful this is and really how you're going to benefit from using this. So like I said before, it's not only going to change the actual sky in here, it's going to go in, it's going to adjust the depth of field, tone, exposure, and the color of the overall photo. And it's really going to make it look like that new sky is what belongs. So let's go into over here. You're going to find the sky enhancer underneath the creative panel. So let's click on that. And you guys can easily see it right here. It's a sky uh, replacement. You can click on here and you're going to have a bunch that are automatically included. So let's go in and let's use, let's go with a brighter sky. Cause again, this is a brighter photo. So let's choose. Hmm. Yeah, let's choose that one there. Now, what I want to do is for this photo, and I showed you guys this in my other tutorial about Luminar 3, is you can actually go in and add certain aspects to the photo, like a golden almost color. So let's go do that. Let's go over to our LUTs, which we can actually find them down here. Let's go down to the autumn. Let's lower the opacity a little bit. Let's go with about there. Now let's go back over to our sky replacement. Let's add in a sky. And yeah, that already looks pretty good. So let's show you a quick before and a quick after. Now you got other little options here. We can go back over to here. We can go to the AI enhancement, which is again, an automatic artificial intelligent enhancement. And it's going to go in and adjust your photo. So let's go and bump this guy up just a little bit. Let's go over to our detail enhancement. Let's bring up our small detail a little bit, our medium just a little bit as well. Let's bring up a little bit of the sharpening. And we'll leave the rest for now because I'm going to show you guys those in another tutorial. So let's close out this real quick and let's show you a quick before and a quick after. So already that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty good, especially with that new sky. So let's go to a photo like this guy here where we don't actually have a sky built into it. So let's go ahead and change that guy. So let's go over to our creative. Let's go to sky selection. And this one here, let's do, let's try one of our dramatic ones. Mm, that one does look pretty cool, actually. Let's try, try something like this. So it really makes it edgy, really makes it dramatic. Let's go over to our dramatic. Let's bring up the amount a little bit there. Let's go over to our light panel. Let's bring up our temperature just a tiny bit. Let's say, yeah, right about there. Let's bring up our shadows a little bit. Let's bring down our highlights just a tiny bit. And let's go over to our AI enhancement. And let's bring this guy up just a little bit there. So as you guys can see, a couple adjustments, two minutes in this photo, a quick before and a quick after. It really, I'm amazed with how this thing works guys like let's pop into another one we'll show you guys one more real quick Let's show you guys this one here. So let me zoom out real quick Now let's just drop in our new sky. So let's go to creative sky replacement and Let's try one of our dramatics. I like that first one that we tried on that other video So something like that. Let's try that guy. Let's bring up our dramatic a little bit Go with right about there looks pretty good now as you guys can see up top here there was a sun poking through but i really want to emphasize that sun that or that sun the sun that sun so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a new sun this one also is in luminar 3 and i showed it to you guys in my other video but let's add it into here so let's go place my sun let's drop you up here so just above where that originally was and let's change the amount Drop that down a little bit. The lengths, I don't want to be so long. I just want you to kind of 
draw your attention to her through that sun rays. The penetration, let's leave those where they're at. Actually, let's bring it down just a little bit. And I mean, that looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and adjust the entire photo. So what I wanna do is I wanna go back over to my central. I wanna go back over to my light. I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit, make it a little bit warmer. Now, when I brought up the warmthness, you guys noticed that it turned greenish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna adjust that by bringing over my tint to counterbalance that, bring it over to the magenta area. Let's bring over my shadows a little bit. Let's bring down my highlights a tiny bit. Let's go over to my AI enhancement. And if I bring that up just a little bit right, let's say right about there, that looks pretty good. Let's go over to my color. Let's bring up a little bit of saturation here. A little bit of vibrancy. Detail enhancer. Let's bring that up a little bit. And let's bring up the sharpening a little bit. Now let's go back over to my light because I want to warm it up just a little bit more. Let's try right about there. And let's go to our landscape enhancer. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a golden hour into this. Let's go with right about, and that looks pretty good like that. So let's show you guys a before. And let's show you guys an after. That's, that's pretty amazing. So as you guys can see, this new Luminar 4's features are a game changer, especially the sky replacement. It's gonna be saving you guys a ton of time in your editing, especially because the old way of doing this was you had to take your photo into Photoshop, adjust out the sky, and then drop in a new sky, add a new adjustment layer over top of everything, and adjust the entire photo so it looks like one. Well, new Luminar 4's new relight technology is gonna be saving you guys time because it does it for you. So if you guys want to check that out and check out some of the other features that Luminar 4 is going to have, I'm going to leave a link down below for that. If you guys want to check out my next tutorial, which is going to be showing you guys the portraits, I'm going to leave a link right here. Make sure you guys check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button and until next time, take care everybody.